Hey, what's going on, guys? You've been to death here. Y'all may have seen me on some set of Corsa servers, the Shotoko racing servers. Um, I've been kind of getting into the, well, I'm not going to say kind of, but I have made a homemade drift setup. Me and my dad made. Um, I do stream on Twitch. Um, I've been getting into the drifting stuff. I know VR for a set of Corsa is kind of like a, eh, it's not really a whole lot of information there. Through the various patches, a lot of optimization stuff. Um, now, this is for the patch 1.77, I believe. I believe it's 1.77 now. So, um, there has been some optimization stuff that has been great for VR. Now, is it fully optimized? No. Are you going to run everything in full max graphics for VR? No. So, I mean, I'm running a 10 900 k with a 6800 XT, and I feel like I play it fairly well. A lot of games off the rip, I pretty much play max graphics. The 6800 XT... First AMD GPU in many years, and I am very impressed with it. Now, if I was able to get my hands on a 3080 or 3080 Ti for a decent price, would have got it. But for the AMD guys, I'm actually very impressed with this video card. It's actually has it has not let me down. It's actually it's actually put out more than I expected. Let's put it that way. So, and then I believe today or yesterday the FSR 2.0 came out. I haven't really had a time to tinker with it. Now with the updated patch for a set of Corsa, there is a, a FX Fidelity, or Fidelity FX. I'm still learning all the terminology. The Fidelity FX, if I understand it, it is open source. So it will work with NVIDIA cards. It's not strictly limited to AMD. But for my AMD guys, Fidelity FX is gonna be your go-to deal, okay? I will run through some of the settings after I get done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of run around. So that set I'm using is a Valve Index. This is at 144 frames. The screen that you are viewing right now, this is my main screen. This is running at 144 frames, 1080p. How are you doing that, Ubrin? Because I can only get 90. Yeah, like, man, I'm just a magician, okay? So, um, now, it's not just that, but a lot of the new patches, they've done pretty well on the optimization. So, I'm going to do some drifting, and um, we'll show you. And then after that, I'll run through a little bit of settings and go from there. So, I am in a R32. Change up the gear set to where like my third gear goes up to 76 miles per hour. So we are on a uh, server right now, Lime Rock. Now on these very highly populated servers. You get a lot of smoke, a lot of things running around. You're gonna have your every once in a while, occasional little FPS drop. Especially when you got little trains like that coming around over there. I'm not even paying attention. I'm in I'm in third gear. Whoops. Now, as far as like my VR experience in a set of Corsa, it has been phenomenal. I just wish the, the VR was a lot more optimized. But it seems like with the uh, with the patches coming out for the content manager, they are getting better. Because I do think that the VR is starting to slowly grab on for a set of Corsa. Me, I have only played this game in VR. I've tried playing it in flat screen. Uh, eh. The VR kind of ruined it for me on flat screen. Oh no, I messed up. Anyways, so there's a little bit of drifting right there. Obviously, that's not my best drifting. My arms are actually tired. I've been drifting, checking out other servers, but Lime Rock has been my go-to. So, anyways, let's run through the settings and show you what I got. All right. Uh, so I didn't have it on the right window. And, uh, yeah, so you weren't able to actually see. So I'm going to be running through the settings. Okay, apparently someone's a guap's messaging me. Schedule arrive on the 25th. Just mailed it. Fantastic. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's one of the viewers. We're going to be building a viewer's computer live. So, um, anyways, uh, I just, I got on, got, 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 got home from work early. I had to get off early today to take care of some personal stuff. So the, okay, it still saved it. Okay. Anyways, so this is what I'm running through. Again, I'm running a valve index, 144 frames on the headset. I may not necessarily need to run the display at 144 too. Now the thing I've noticed, and I'm again, 
they, with the new patch, I haven't messed with the new patch or tried yet, but I know this from older patches, if I don't run the headset with the same hertz as the display, don't know why, it would cause problems, right? So I'm just using, again, what I know works for me. This is a baseline for people to kind of get an idea what's good, not what what's not good. So this isn't what is going to work for you, right? Uh, obviously, my system's a little higher than probably most people. Not all, but most. Um, but this right here should be able to help give out a good baseline, right? So we're going to run through the settings on what I'm running through on a set of Corsa to run VR. So uh, we're going to run through it real quick. And actually, don't have very or too much running through on the custom shaders patch. So bear with me. A lot of the main stuff is going to be right here, right? And then uh, the custom shaders patch just has a lot of extra pooky poo that you don't need. So anyways, what I'm running is a uh, rendering mode in open VR. Uh, guys are on Rift. I don't know. I don't speak for Rift. I'm only speaking on a valve index. Open VR, run that. Full screen. Again, you can tinker with this. Uh, for me, it seems like obviously it has a lot more focus on the game itself for a priority of resources on full screen. Um, again, like I said, match. I match it with my headset. I'm on 144 hertz. You can try tinkering down, move it down to 60, and then set your monitor down to 60. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but that's what I would do to try to save resources with other patches. So tinker with that. That's still room for tinkering. Um, as far as the... Um, now, other people have said if you go into your set of Corsa and right click and go run as administrator, something about that they said that it works too. I, I it may help give more frames. I don't know. Try with it. So that right there gives you a couple options to mess with. Uh, limit frame rate. They, your frame rate will jump up and down depending on your system. Um, they a lot of rule of thumb that I've been following is setting it one frame above whatever you're running. Right. So like Oculus guys will be at ninety. Most of them should be at 90. Uh, then, uh, you know, like I me, mean, I'm running 144, so I'm going to set it to 145. Show on screen, whatever screen you want to show it on, blah, blah, blah. Now, again, I'm only speaking for a set of Corsa. If you do run the MSA at off, it will be edged. Remember, this is not a VR game. Games that are made for VR, they, they're, they have different settings. For this particular application, 4X to me smooths edge. Some people run 8. For me, the 4X looks better to the eye. If not, you have real jagged edges. You don't want that. An an anastropic filtering. Um, I've messed with 16 and 8. I don't really see much. I'm still kind of messing with this, but right now I'm just kind of roll thumb of 8X. Uh, world detail. It's kind of up to you. Um, if you want to save resources, maybe set on low high. I'm, I'm setting high because I'm messing with it. Uh, shadow resolution. I set it 30 by 32 by 32. I really don't care much for shadows that's just me again we're in vr a lot of this stuff overlaps with the custom shaders patch so don't get all crazy thinking this is going to be the one-stop shop go right here okay remember this is just a baseline and then figure out what your baseline is and then add and subtract things through the shaders patch right smoke generation for drifting low 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 may even put it on minimum um i put on low because i do like a little bit more smoke but not too much. Like there's a there's a window here between medium and low. I don't know why. It's just what it is. Show smoke and mirrors. I have personal preference. I like having smoke and mirrors. Between with the smoke and drifting, it's just more immersive for me. Um, the reflections, static reflections. Okay, think something about VR. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But something in VR with the custom shaders patch, along with the main game's graphic settings in VR, lighting and shadows are just a killer absolute killer depending on the map and depending on the textures right so like for an example like the shotoko maps which you know the shotoko revival project and all that stuff something about that map has like the worst lighting and shadows i have no idea why um what works for me which i'm still gonna mess with i haven't done it yet with the new patch and i'm gonna set the world detail down to minimum because when you're flying around on the highway i don't think anybody really cares what it looks like but i do high when i'm in drift drift maps just because I like it to be a little bit more scenery around the edges, not just a bland flat map. Anyways, so but also too, a lot of people say, do you know the more you go, the yeah, the more you go. Me personally, static. I really don't care about reflections. I don't really notice much. Okay, that's very heavy. Rendering distance seven hundred twenty meters. 
again, uh, you can tinker with that. Some people, I don't really notice the difference, blah, blah, blah. We're talking about VR. VR is a whole different animal. There's a lot of videos out there where they're like, oh, yeah, do this. Now. I'm just going to tell you right now. This does affect it. Okay. This is part of the reflections. We have reflections. I mean, 720 meters, that's a lot. Okay. I, I mean, at that point in time, are you really looking that far in VR? I think you're paying attention more to what you're doing. Again, mess with it. Tinker with it. Uh, Post-processing filters. Big deal. Or known as PP filters, right? Uh, I've messed with natural mod. Natural mod is supposed to be more of like a VR friendly. To me, it's kind of bland. Some of my viewers say it's real bland. Blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you, default. To me, the default looks fine to me. Lighting looks fine. Supposedly natural mod was like fix lighting and all that fun. So I don't care about it. I think it's bland as hell. People that made the natural mod, if you see this video, nothing against you. Just again, personally for me, for the valve index, I don't like it. So, but the uh, overall quality and the glare set it low and low. Okay. I've turned this off and there's a big difference, but having the little bit of quality and a little bit of glare that helps so you can see tail lights, people hitting tail lights, headlights, kind of get a little bit more immersion. Mess with it between your display and de uh, depending on the quality you want to do on your post processing. Those two you mess with, along with reflections. Again, you can do all the face and all that, but I'm gonna tell you around smoke, reflections, and the, your your post processing filter and effects, and your display. There's room to mess with to see what works for you. Okay, heat shimmering, sun rays. Some guys have it on. Um, me personally, I don't really give give two craps about that. That that's extra bells and whistles. Uh, sure, if you want to do that. Now, if you're wondering what things do, you click on the eye, the eye will pop up and actually show you with heat simmering off or on or whatever the case may be, right? Performance at none. So, saying none. Uh, again, try that. Again, VR is a whole different animal. Okay. So, depth, uh, the depth of field, make sure that's off. Motion blur off. You're in VR. You don't want that. Saturation, leave that 100. I haven't messed with it. Mirror, this is kind of a personal. I like mirrors. I use mirrors all the time. I may actually have this set too high to be personally. I'm probably going to set that down. Um, high quality, up to you. Oculus, don't mess with it. We're talking about a valve index. This, don't even mess with it. If you start messing with stuff, you're messing with stuff I don't even know about. Okay, now we're going to go to the shaders patch. Really, what you're only going to be using on shaders patch is your general patch settings, car instruments, graphic adjustments. Graph F FX is kind of personal. Um, I like having a little bit of grass while I'm drifting. just kind of makes the map a little more like alive. When it's just flat, it's just kind of boring. But anyways, um, so you got one, two, three, uh, four, and then the smart mirror personal five. It's kind of a personal deal. Six windscreen FX. And then uh, probably seven for VR tweaks. Not really much tweaks, kind of just preference. So what this is, we're, okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Anyways, uh, graphics. So there's still some things I'm messing with in here. Again, my system, I'm running an M.2 10900K 6800 XT. A lot for, mo for the most part, pretty much leave a factory on this. I, I've been messing with like loading optimization, you know, smoother loading, compressed meshes and RAM, prevent, prevent AC from altering thread affinity. You know, I've been messing with this stuff. I don't know if it's even doing anything. I don't know if it's like tweaking certain things. So I, I can't really say this is kind of more like run through and see if it works for you kind of deal. Mainly I'm focusing on like the optimization, CPU optimization, uh, GPU I haven't really messed with. Uh, see, like that's new with the new patch on, you know, see much faster texture loading, loader, uh, load, loaderings. Much faster texture loading also might reduce VRAM consumption. Experimental option may not work with some textures. See, that's what I'm saying. Make sure you're reading the information on these things. Um, I mean, I got 16 gigs of VRAM. I'm not really worried about it. This, this, this for VR is just a lot of optimization, right? So, anyways, car instruments. Next one. Um, this is custom, custom cars. You want the instruments and stuff to work. You want the lights and the gauges to turn it on. Okay. Uh, the only thing I mess with is uh, use high beam mode by default. I, I I like low beam to come on, not high beam off the rip. Okay. That, that, that's it. As far as all this extra stuff, you want to go through and mess with color shadowing, DS, GXI. I don't even know what the hell that is. Um, extra FX. I mean, that's all extra bells and whistles. But what I'm doing is giving you the bread and just like the, the, the basic sandwich of like basically no bread, just kind of the meat and cheese. Right. And then you can build your sandwich more from there, add the lettuce and all that. So, but yeah, car instruments for all that stuff, all this extra stuff, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, graphic adjustments. What I'm doing for graphic adjustments is to make sure that the fidelity FX super resolution is enabled. Um, as far as I said in, in part of the video, the 2.0 FX just came out. 
the super resolution F FSR or whatever. So this is open source for guys that have been NVIDIA. So if you have NVIDIA, it's not a lost cause. This is open source. It will work for yours too, because AMD is nice like that, right? Being me being an NVIDIA fanboy for a long, long time. And I still love NVIDIA, but I'm starting to really think AMD. Anyway, that's a whole another conversation. So, um, I, I am going to be buying 3090 just for the record, because I, I just want one. Um, the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. So, yeah, turn it on. Some people say extra quality, not really like a whole lot of gain there. They say like, oh, 2%, 3%. I don't know. The, the 2.0 FSR just came out. Um, as far as like, what is it going to do? I have no idea. I just said the quality. Okay. Like quality works for me. It works fine. It's smooth, whatever. Uh, low, re or low resolution cockpits for other cars in first person view. I don't really care about the cockpit and other people's cars. Like I, I just actually, wait a second. Yeah. Why am I not forcing that stupid? See force low res drivers for other cars in first person view. Actually, I don't know why that wasn't on anyways. Uh, origin ship i don't know what that is i misread that so that's what i'm saying there's so many settings that you have to just read them okay i misread the hell out of that let's see um origin ship i have no idea what that is uh msa tweaks again vr msa it's kind of just i think me personally i think this overlaps with the original msa um i turned that off and i didn't notice a difference so i'm just using the original game itself msa right but as far as like the custom shader service, I just turned that off. I mean, again, mess with it. Post processing anti analyze analysts anals anals anti anals uh, mode. I put an original. I think again, we're in VR. VR is a different animal. I just put it to original. I, I don't even know if this stuff even like works with the VR. Remember this uh, this content manager is not made by the original factory developer or whatever. This is all community, right? So. Then I click on the use Fidelity FX cast by AMD for extra sharpness. Uh, I haven't really messed with it, but I did. And I think it helped a little bit for me personally. Other than that, it's all stock. Leave it. Okay, graphics, FX, all does add grass. You want the quality, you want more grass, less grass. Add, I put medium, cool, make it bland. Okay, carry on. Uh, the All this is all extra crap. I don't care. Smart mirror, personal preference. Again, I put smart mirror on. I like it when I look around in VR. The mirror adjusts the pers uh the the per perspective how you're looking into it so um i it tells you right here 800 meters for high quality mirrors 400 so i put it to 800 other than that a bit of shaking older cars i don't care turn that off uh re real mirrors yes the real mirrors yeah i turn that on proper accurate reflections with separate textures for different mirrors could be quite costly so I'll remember that could be quite costly right so anyways so I got that going on. Oh, this is all extra crap. You like your window? Uh, you like your windshield dirty or clean? You like it dirty? Leave it off. You like it clean? Turn it on. That's it. Okay, cool. Uh, this for the Mode Tweaks VR. Mode Tweaks VR, the, the position, your HUD rendering, all that. Me, I just, hey, I want a left eye. That's all I did. Right eye, left eye. Actually, I had it set on right eye for a while. So, yeah, left eye is factor, so I don't even mess with that. Uh, mode tweaks, custom, don't know. Me music, I don't know. Don't know anything. Small tweaks, don't know anything. So, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of how I'm running it right now. I'm still messing with stuff. I'm still tinkering with it. So, this right here should give you a baseline. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and uh, chat in. So, hopefully, let me know in the bottom and below in the comments if any of this helped you, kind of helped guide you on anything. Maybe you have a friend with a Valve Index. Uh, I mean, obviously, the Valve Index is pretty pricey, so the amount of people that are using a Valve Index is probably slim, or they just don't talk about it. I have no idea for for particular for this particular game. Other than that, guys, have a good one. Hopefully, this helps you out. Let me know below in the comments anything that you've done to help improve your gameplay in the Valve Index. Uh, what are you doing? Maybe some of my AMD guys, what have you done that maybe I'm doing wrong? Maybe you found out. Let me know below so we can help each other out because games like this, it's all community driven, so it'll stay as a community. Other than that, guys, you have a good one. I'll talk to you later.